Welcome to Unity Tips and Tricks. In this video we're going to take a look at the way Unity handles physical interactions between a pair of objects. And you might think this is really straightforward and simple, but once you start looking into it, you might come across something like these 6x6 interaction matrices in the Unity documentation. Um, for instance, what we're looking at here is whether we'll get collision detection messages or trigger messages upon a collision. Now when you're using colliders and rigid bodies, um, all the combinations of these may or may not trigger, trigger one of these messages. So one way to develop our intuition is by getting a better understanding of the terminology that we're using here. Uh, to start with, we have the word static, and that typically means fixed or not moving. But when you apply it to a collider here, uh, Unity has a special definition for it. A static collider is essentially one that's on an object that does not also have a rigid body. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it can't move. It can, but Unity's not really doing extra bookkeeping for it. This mostly is providing information to other components about the shape, size, all the details about the collision volume. So to contrast that, we have a rigid body collider. Um, that's pretty much a collider that's on an object that does have a rigid body. So when you have a rigid body on there, it's pretty much saying that that object's going to be physically simulated in some way. And it's telling you what kind of physical simulation. It's a rigid body uh, simulation. That's saying that the body's rigid, it's solid, it's not bending. Um, that's opposed to like soft body physics, which might be modeling jello, but we don't really have that. This, is a, this collider is a rigid body, it's not going to deform. That's pretty much what that's saying. Now, you could take that a step further, and you'd have a kinematic rigid body. Um, but let's dig into the word kinematic. Uh, kinematic is pretty much a description of motion. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be physically accurate, but the history of it was when uh, early scientists, early physicists, were, were kind of des described motion of the stars, uh, the planets, you know, kind of... Um, uh, astrophysical phenomena. They had, you know, uh, numerical systems, equations that they came up with it that may not have been accurate, but it was a description. And I guess description is really the key word here, is that the kinematics were a description for the motion. So if you had a rigid body collide or something that interacts with the rigid body physics, but you have a description of it I think the combination here is just trying to say that this object uh, is going to interact with the physical simulation, but you are responsible for describing the motion. So let's see what actually happens when any of these objects come into contact with any of the other types. Uh, specifically, we'll look at just the colliders and not the triggers. So starting off with the static collider, um, it's just data. There's no physical simulation there, so it doesn't collide with itself. But a rigid body does, so it collides with that. And the most confusing would probably be the kinematic one. Uh, you're sort of responsible for the motion of that, and I'm guessing Unity also wants to give you response, uh, the responsibility as to whether to send a collision message, so uh, nothing happens there. On the other hand, the rigid body controller is pretty easy. Um, you'll get a message back from anything at least anything that's not a trigger. And then um, we kind of already looked at this, the kinematic one. It's only going to give you message back when it comes into contact with a rigid body collider. So rather than bore you guys by going through this whole chart, we're actually going to jump in the editor and test it ourselves. So um, here we have a couple objects, both of them with static colliders, because none of them have rigid bodies. Uh, this guy's a box, this one has a mesh collider and we're going to move them against each other and to do that really easily as a test here I prepared a couple of scripts so the first one will just report to us when these messages come in we'll get trigger enter and collision enter and it'll tell us the name of the object and what it triggered or collided with right here and then just to move our object around and make it collide with one another I have a uh, simple um, controller here just to move one into the other so let's go apply these I'll put, we'll actually control the companion, and I want some feedback from him. 
and here's where the mesh collider's at. Let's get some feedback from that. So now we have two static colliders. If we start this, we shouldn't get back anything, and we don't. Um, however, if we put a rigid body on here now, now we have a uh, rigid body collider and a static collider. So when these two interact, we should get something back. But before I do that, let's turn off gravity. Okay, and we do. Um, the companion's calling one, and the Pringles are calling one. So what happens on both objects? Um, however, if this was kinematic, and now it's expecting us to control this, it's probably also expecting us to send a message. So if we're colliding with a static collider, then neither, neither one of these really has a responsibility to send anything. Um, but let's just test it to make sure. Nothing there either. So if we did want to make that work, we could maybe put a rigid body on the other guy. So now we have a rigid body collider here and a kin kinematic rigid body collider on the other one. And we need to turn off gravity on that. So let's go ahead and do that. Now when they collide, um, we get one message, so this was from the companion cube, but not from the Pringles. And the reason for that was because, um, let's see, so the companion actually has our test script right here, and it's getting the call from the rigid body. However, we put our rigid body up here in the root of the Pringles, but there's no script there. The script is actually next to the collider. So we can see that it's not actually the collider in this case that's triggering the message, it must be the rigid body. So if we put our test script on there, they should both give us the message, and they do. Um, so that's a quick run through and hopefully provided you guys a little bit more insight on um, all the different possible interactions we can get in Unity's collision system. Thanks for watching guys.